a lot going on with you ladies. I know. We're busy girls. You guys are busy girls. Is, so it's kind of like you guys have these ups and downs. I mean, normal in, you know, girls' relationships. Absolutely. But it's interesting how you guys kind of deal with each other. How's right. it been for you? It's, you know, it's been... Um, pretty uh, cathartic. It's a lot of self-examination. You know, I tend to surround myself with strong women, and when you do that, you are constantly examining your own life and looking at what you're doing, and kind of we keep tabs on each other and kind of hold each other's feet to the fire and make sure that we're doing the things that we need to be doing in this life, and sometimes we, we don't always get along, but um, I think in the end we respect each other. We each have charitable pursuits that are important to us, businesses that we care about, and we each have children. So, you know, from that perspective, we all respect each other. Who would you say is your bestie on the show? Well, Adrienne and I have known each other a long time. She's my daughter's godmother. So um, I have, obviously, I would trust her with the life of my child. So <laughs> she's pretty important to me. But I've definitely bonded with some of the other girls, as you'll see as the season progresses. And haven't exactly bonded with some of the others. <laughs> And it's nice that you have your own personal shopper and stylist that comes to the house, yes, right? And brings yes. you your clothes. So, so you're not really a big fan of shopping in general. Well, I do. I do like to go and get. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big go walk around and mm -hmm. just sort of shop for the mm -hmm. sake of it. I am so over scheduled and really want to share that time with my daughter as much as possible. So having Julie shop for me is so convenient because she knows my style and she can bring things to the house, and then I get to sort of shop out of a selection that is most reasonable for my taste and, mm -hmm. and style and size. So it's, it's a wonderful luxury. I'm, I'm very fortunate to have her, and she's also a good friend. Great. And what is your uh, taste? I mean, are you like a clothes horse? Are you an accessories girl? Shoes, handbags, what's your favorite? Oh, my gosh. I love shoes. I love YSL. Mm -hmm. I'm addicted to their entire line of shoes. Mm -hmm. But um, And I enjoy clothes, too. I like it all. It's so hard. I mean, we're so fortunate to be women, so we mm -hmm. can enjoy all the different styles that are out there. And um, a lot of fun getting dressed up and going out. And what are some of your beauty secrets? Well, I think sunscreen's a big one. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up, I was not an avid sunscreen user, mm -hmm. and I certainly pay for that. So mm -hmm. I try to put it on my daughter regularly, her little perfect four-year-old skin. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I like to get massage. I think that that helps mm -hmm. kind of de-stress and um, it's good for your body. So. And so what are we going to look forward to this season on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Well, speaking of my daughter, I do get to share her fourth birthday with her on the show. So that was okay. fun to plan a party for her. And now I'm going to have these extremely high-quality home videos to show her one day. <laughs> well, in HD. <laughs> <laughs> Several different camera angles, you know, mic and the whole work. So that part was fun to have that. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, different people have different opinions about the extent that I go to for a four-year-old. But, you know, it's Beverly Hills. What are you going to do? And you guys are going to Vegas next week, right? I know. I know. We've got to go mm -hmm. check out the Palms Casino. Okay. You know, it's fun to go as a guest of the Maloofs because obviously you get all access. And uh, that's one of the great things about our show is Beverly Hills has such incredible access. And I think that our viewers are getting to see what it's like to live and function in a city that's as, as interesting as Beverly Hills. Do you get in trouble in Vegas? Hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll have to see how it turns out. <laughs> This is the one problem having television cameras follow you is what happens in Vegas does not necessarily stay in Vegas. Exactly. You have to watch your back. <laughs> you have to watch from every angle. Exactly. Well, we're excited to see the rest of the season. Thank you for supporting Thank us. Thank you so much. It. Thank you.